Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I do have a couple of questions, and I, too, support eliminating the estate tax and hope we can accomplish that before um, it expires. Um, I, I would like to ask uh, Mrs. Neese a, cu a couple of questions. Why is the estate tax more burdensome on a small family business than the, the larger ones? Well, I'm not sure that, that it's more burdensome on small business other than um, it, it costs small business owners so much to get into compliance and to make sure that they're able to pass that small business on to the next generation. Um, and especially in today's economy, a lot of small businesses are really hurting and it's difficult for them to just make payroll. And so to know that they've got to take another $5,000 or $7,500 um, to help them with the estate tax planning is a huge lump to take out of their budget when they could be using those dollars to market uh, and continue to sell their wares uh, and keep themselves in business. That would make sense, and I would assume that those small business owners may not have the level of expertise in accounting as some of the larger ones might. They definitely have to uh, to have an attorney who may perhaps the large corporations have an attorney on staff um, and uh, human resource people that, that the large corporations have on staff. So absolutely correct. That's, that's good. Um, if I could ask uh, Mr. Spo a, a question. You said that you carry a life insurance policy to protect your family against the expense of an estate tax. Can you just elaborate a little bit more why it is important for companies in industries with low capital and small margins to have something like that? Well, if, if you want to pass your business on, you, you have to. Because if something would happen, uh, there's no money there for, a, uh, for, the, for the payment of the tax. So you really don't have any choice. I guess you could say if, if you don't do it, you're, you're, you're setting a plan that really isn't a plan. So what they say, a, a, a plan is a no. You can have a no plan be a plan. And if you don't have the insurance and you don't do some planning, then you're willing to let your business go on all the years that your parents put into it and, and, and the hours that uh, my wife and I put into it and, and the hours that the kids are putting into it. That means nothing if you don't, if you don't buy that insurance so that at least you have the, the cash to pay that tax. Thank you. That's very good. I know we're short on time, so Madam Chairman, I'll relinquish my time. Thank you very much. Thank you.